Hello, my name is Ruben and I made this to make cool shots like this. I was looking for some awesome DIY projects and I came across a channel called Air Unknown. They made a cheap rotating camera dolly and I immediately wanted to try it myself. I kind of followed the steps but I also made some improvements. Bim. I have a lot of wood waste of my house renovation so that's what I used to build this rotating dolly. For the base plate I used some leftover rubber wood. You don't need a perfect rectangle, but I wanted to play around with the jigsaw, so I went for it. Next up, I added some wheels to every corner of the bottom of the base plate. It's better if you can lock those, so you can keep the plate in place. The screws I used were a bit too long, so I removed the bits that were sticking out with my angle grinder. It makes the base plate look a bit crappy, but the footage looks pretty cool. You win some, you lose some. Then I screwed some rubber wood to the top of the base plate. That will be used to attach the rotating arm, so make sure it's on there securely. Then you drill a hole in the middle of that piece of rubber wood. For the arm I use this very cheap Oregon pine wood. The height is around 75 cm or 30 inches. I've put my pencil through the hole to mark the position. Make sure there is a small space at the bottom so it can rotate without getting stuck. I drilled the hole and rounded the corners. It won't win a beauty contest but it does the job just fine. I used the same wood for the base for the camera. I just saw the piece off that's about 18 cm or 7 inches. I found a quick release clamp and arca plate from small rig that's just perfect. I'll put an affiliate link in the description. There are holes in the clamp so you can easily attach it to the wooden base. I made sure to put the screw of the clamp on the outside and I used the screws to mount the clamp to the wood to also attach that to the arm itself. That way it's securely and most of the weight is on the arm itself. I used this L bracket to strengthen it, just to be sure my camera won't fall off. I'm still using the screws that are too long so I grabbed my angle grinder to remove the parts that were sticking out again. Next up I attached a furniture leg to the back of the arm to use as a handle. That way I can smoothly rotate the dolly. To add the arm to the base plate I used bolts, nuts and washers. Et voila, it's ready. I ended up using the arca plate of my gimbal to put it on the rotating dolly. Because the one that came with the small rig quick release clamp had bolts that were a bit too long. So whatever arca plate you have, you can use it on the rotating dolly. Or in my case, I can use the small rig half cage directly with the clamp. Here is some more footage I made with the rotating dolly. I'll show you how to edit those speed ramps in my next video. Peace!